Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I have a really good video for you today. It's about my favorite subject, shoes, <laughs> and what's better than spring shoes. I do a monthly TV segment on a local morning show here called New Day Northwest. And my segment for March was on spring shoe trends. And so I thought it would be really fun to bring it to you. I've also linked that segment down in the description box if you want to watch it. Because on the show, I actually took some additional shoes on there that I don't have here at home with me anymore. Um, so if you want to check those out, I'll link them, but then you can also watch that segment for those shoes as well. Okay, so the first spring shoe that I'm going to talk about is a trend that's really big right now. And I never say never to trends, um, but this one I am kind of doing my own take on, and it is the mesh shoe trend. So have you seen these? I'm just not really a fan of the ones where you can kind of see your whole foot. I like if there's maybe a little bit of embellishment on there, but there's also some other ways to kind of wear this mesh trend. So I thought I'd share a couple of those with you. Okay, first up are these sneakers. So these are absolutely adorable. I wish you could tell how light they are. Um, I hope you can tell how light they are. They are so, so cute. They are super, super comfortable. They are by Vanelli and they're sold through Marmy Shoes. And I actually have a discount for you. If you use Party Till Dawn, I'll put it on the screen here, you can get 10% off. But I love these. What's really amazing about Vanelli is they come in narrow, medium, and wide widths. And so, you know, you can find what fits for you. I have a fairly narrow foot and this is just the normal regular width and it fits me great. What I love about these is they have a little zipper. So they're easy to get on and off. So here's the mesh. So this is a way to kind of do that mesh trend, but in a different way. Love these. There are several other versions of this type of shoe out there, but I will tell you they are so heavy. You will be shocked <laughs> at how light these are. And the cushioning that is inside, I don't know if you can see, they just have some of the best cushioning. So. I think these are adorable, great with like white crop pants, great with your denim, great with shorts. They're just super, super cute. Okay, another shoe that fits right into that mesh trend and what we're seeing a lot of right now are slingbacks, but how beautiful are these shoes? So these are by Sam Edelman. They are the perfect little kitten heel. Uh, what I love about these two is it has a nice flat heel. It's not a pointy little pointy heel that's going to sink into grass. So if you're wearing these to like an outdoor wedding, they'd be perfect. Speaking of wedding, if you are looking for a mother of the bride or a mother of the groom shoe, my son is actually getting married in November. So I am all things mother of the groom and I'm hanging on to these because I think they're so beautiful. I love a nude shoe because it really just blends into your leg and it kind of just disappears. But yet these have that little bit of sparkle down at the bottom that really just give them a little something. So you'll see definitely that mesh trend, but not as see-through uh, as you would think. They're just a really, really pretty shoe. Another really popular shoe, which it's always popular, is the loafer. I love loafers. I I have worn them for years. I think what's really trending right now is a light colored loafer. And I'll be honest, I had been on the lookout for a black penny loafer. And then as spring has moved in, I realized maybe I just don't want a black right now. So I have got two really good neutral options for you. One is a lower price end than the other, but so bear with me. First up are these loafers from Target. Now you can see these are worn because these are mine. I bought these last year. I took them actually on my TV segment exactly a year ago. And I took them on my TV segment again this month because Target brought them back. They're that good. They're just a really soft suede, faux suede loafer with that horse bit detail. They have memory foam on the inside. They are so, so comfortable. Like I said, they are back at Target and you cannot go wrong with these. If you um, see any of my videos, you'll usually see these in every other video or something because I wear them a ton. So a really, really good loafer. On the opposite end of a Target loafer, I found these. So these are from Rag & Bone. They are a classic 
penny loafer style, which is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, what I love about these is you can see they are so soft. They come in black and they also come in this white color. They're comfortable right out of the box. Again, lots of padding. They are so good. I These are mine. I own them. I bought them. Um, I just couldn't pass them up. And it might be the exact loafer that I buy in black as we move into fall. I think I will definitely buy these. I'll be honest, I bought a pair from J. Crew, which I loved, and I got them home, and they were so stiff, and I just didn't have it in me to go through the break-in period. You know, there's ways to wear them at home with socks and put on band-aids, and I just, just couldn't do it. I just don't have the time. So I was on the hunt for one that was comfortable right out of the box, and you can see. So these are a really, really beautiful loafer. Hey, some other really popular shoes for spring are always flats. Um, you know, flats never go out of style. So I found four really good ones that kind of run the gamut from um, pretty kind of modern and cool to just a good classic. So first up, these are from Vanelli. Now, if you've watched my spring capsule wardrobe, you saw these in the camo with the black and a little heel. So this is the flat version, and I think they're absolutely adorable. If you are close to my age, you remember spectator style and how cool that was. These are definitely a nod to Chanel. They're just so cute. Again, they're Vanelli. They have a lot of good cushioning here in the footbed, and then you can just see how soft the leather is. I have actually worn these already, and... I think I got three or four compliments just the day that I wore them. So they're a really good shoe. They come in a couple of different colorways. And this is another shoe from Marmy. If you use my code party till dawn, you can get 10% off. Leopard. Uh, these were part of my spring capsule as well, because I think they're so cute. Leopard is absolutely a neutral. Do not hesitate. It looks great, great with olive green. It looks good with red, denim, white, pink. I mean, floral and leopard is adorable if you're a little bit bolder and you could do that. Uh, these are fantastic. So a good just calf hair flat. They have this really nice calf hair. I love this little detail here. Uh, a lot of flats just kind of do this rounded area here. I think just adding this little dent here just makes them a little more elevated and a little more chic. So these are really great. Also, again, these are Vanelli through Marmy Shoes. You can get my discount and get 10% off. They're just a really, really nice shoe. And if you've been following me for a while, also you know um, I have a pair of silver metallic loafers that I wear all the time. They're one of my favorite shoes. I reach for them so often. Um, and metallics are great, you know, again, big moving into spring and summer. So I decided I needed to try a gold pair. So I treated myself to these gold Jada flats. These are by Frida Salvador. So they are a woman owned company. These are stunning. The Jada flat comes in several different colors. They come in black, white, red. There is even a silver. Um, you can just see how soft the leather is. They are so comfortable. Um, when I ordered them the first time, I ordered my regular size nine and I didn't read the reviews and I should have sized up a half. So I returned them. One, I knew if I was spending the money on a really nice shoe like this, I want to just put them on and wear them. So um, I sized up a half size and they're perfect. So just keep that in mind, a half size up. If you have a wider foot, a very wide foot, I would say this probably isn't a good shoe for you. Um, if you have a medium to wide foot, you could just size up and I think it'll be just fine. I know Frida Salvador is also making another version that is not braided, it's not woven. They're more of a solid, but they have a round toe that accommodate a little bit wider foot. I'm gonna link those for you too, but. These are just so fun. Great with a pair of white jeans, great with a dress. They'll be great with just blue denim. They're a really, really fun shoe. So I'm pretty excited about these. Okay, so these next pair, this next pair is very edgy and modern. Um, they are definitely a designer look alike. I know um, 
they're not for everybody, but they're super fun. So they're these red flats. So like I said, they have a high-end designer look to them. I know Steve Madden also makes a pair just like this. These are from Amazon and they come in several different colors. They come in chocolate brown, they come in white, they come in black. I thought the red was so fun. Um, I'll put my little video here. I just styled them on Instagram with a pair of cargo pants, so you can see that there. Um, they're just so good. Now, believe it or not, they are so comfortable. They are super soft. I think a shoe like this is very fun if you're wearing a wide leg pair of jeans or trousers and this pointy toe tipping out the front is just such a fun look. So these are fun. Again, this is very trendy and this is a shoe that I don't want to spend a lot of money on, which is why I went to Amazon and I think they were like $45. So it's a fun way for me to wear a really trendy piece and not spend a bunch of money because, you know, next year I'm probably not going to want to wear these. So um, th they're very fun. If you need a fun shoe, give these a try. Okay, so that's my little spring shoe haul. A couple of other ideas, and I've shared them in some other videos. If you need a good sandal, um, I think that dad sandal uh, from, there's one at Target, Steve Madden makes one, but it's just a really good, comfortable sandal. I'll put a picture right here so you can see. Um, I, in fact, I had somebody message me and say that they're gonna buy that sandal uh, for a European vacation, and it's perfect because you could take it right into the water, um, and they're just so comfortable you could walk miles in them. So that's a really good one. And then a couple other shoes that I'll just throw out there just in case you're needing something. If you're looking for a good low profile retro style sneaker, I'm a huge fan of my Adidas Sambas. I've shared these in videos as well before. It's funny, I never wore Adidas Sambas back in the day. So I'm kind of new to them. Um, and I love them. I think they're so comfortable. I wear them a ton, size down a half. Not sure what color to get, get the white with the black. I also have navy with white, which is really fun with denim, but uh, if you need one pair, these are a really good shoe. And then if you just need a good low heel dress option, these are some of my favorites. These are Sam Edelman. These are actually just like the mesh heel that I just shared with you. It's the exact same style and brand. This is just the black leather version. I wear these all the time. They come in a nude leather version. They come in more of a raffia style, which is really fun for spring and summer, but it's just, like I said, it's just a really good heel. You're not gonna sink into grass. You're comfortable. They're not too high. They're a really, really fantastic shoe. So I'll get those linked for you as well. Okay, so there you go. Those are my spring shoe picks. Um, let me know if you need any other ideas in the comments, leave any recommendations. I would be happy to send more. I will make sure that I get all of these shoes linked below in the description box. Um, and if you're not sure how to style some of these things, don't forget to watch my 20 piece spring capsule wardrobe. I'll put that link right here and, um, that'll give you lots of ideas. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.